Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to recreate the Kylie Jenner and James Charles makeup tutorial for Halloween that they just collaborated on. I saw the video, I fell in love with the look, but then I kind of realized that the gist of the video was more of a fun, hang out with us, watch us do our makeup type of video versus an actual tutorial. So I did a tutorial for you guys in depth, step by step, listed all the materials that I used. If you guys want to see how I got this look, please keep watching and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to start off by priming my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and some lip balm. I'm going to be using the Maron Flash color liquid lipstick. I prefer this one because I've used the white one in the past and I just don't feel like it has the same effect. It's really hard to camouflage under your foundation, so I definitely like the flush better. Um, so we're gonna start with some tissue paper. This is literally just plain Kleenex. And what I like to do is just, it comes double layered, so you just break it in the middle so that you get a thinner layer and easier to work with. I'm just going to put a small amount of the liquid latex on a mixing plate and I'm going to just put it right in the center so that even if it runs on the sides a little bit it doesn't run off. So I put about this much on the plate. I'm going to be doing the left side of my face. The first step is with one of these little disposable CVS cosmetic brushes you take the little fatter end of it and then just spread a light layer all over the area where we're going to make our cut. So I'm going to go a little bit down here closer to my jawline. And you want to get a, a layer of that tissue and just cover the entire area that you had applied. Okay, so I'm actually going to make this video a voiceover because being creative and doing all of this and explaining it at the same time, um, kind of hard, but I will have very detailed directions in the voiceover, so don't worry. Okay, so once you put your tissue on top of the liquid latex, it kind of meshes into the liquid latex and it dries up really quickly, so it's easy to rip off the edges. So that part is pretty simple, and then you just put another layer of liquid latex on top of that tissue. And once you have a nice even layer, you want to make sure that you get those edges. Uh, you add an, another layer of tissue and then you repeat the steps three times. I like to do a good three layers of tissue because I feel like if you make it too thin, when you start cutting it up and making it all gushy, it's easy for it to rip if you don't put enough layers of tissue. So yes, three layers for me is perfect, is the perfect consistency. And you can really mess it, mess around with it at the end, and it won't, it won't rip. Once you're done with your three layers of tissue, you want to make sure that that last top layer is a full, even layer of liquid latex, and then you want to just give it a good thirty seconds, a nice little blow for it to dry. You see how it's not perfect? That's gonna help us build up the wound later, so don't try to make the edges too perfect. So we're done with the liquid latex for now, and we're gonna move on to makeup, and then we're gonna come back to the scar once we have most of our makeup on. Okay, so I'm using the Fit Me foundation just all over my face and on top of the scar. The scar might need a little bit of extra foundation just so that it blends better and it picks up the color. I'm filling in my eyebrows with the Morphe Brow Pencil in the color Latte. And now I'm contouring with the KKW Beauty Contour Stick in the color Medium 2. And I did put on a lot because I wanted that very dark bronzy look like James Charles did on Kylie. It was definitely a lot of bronzer.
and I just like to contour my nose with my fingers. All right, so this is the Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealer. I don't remember exactly which color I'm using, but I'll list it down below, and I am blending that out with my e.l.f. Cosmetics Blend. All right, so now I'm using the Balm's Bahama Mama Bronzer. This is the Juvia's Place blush in the color Serafina. And now with a quick stipple brush, I am just going all over the face to make sure everything is nicely blended and with my sponge as well. I am setting the under eyes with my Becca Hydra Mist setting powder. All right, so for this eye look, I use the Makeup by Mario Master Matte. So this color that I'm working into my crease with a fluffy brush is matte number nine, and that is the reddish toned shade. And I'm just working that in all over my crease. And now with a brush that has a little bit more of a precise tip, I'm just defining the crease a little bit with that same color. This is Fuego from Dose of Colors, the Katie and Desi collab. I just use that quick gold on the lid and yes, with an even slimmer pencil type brush, I'm gonna go in with that number nine and just really define the crease because we're not doing a cut crease, but I really did wanna define that area so that it pops out. And now with numbers 11 and 12, I'm using a thin slanted pencil brush, kind of like an eyebrow brush and just creating an eyeshadow type wing liner. And I actually really liked how this look came out. It is a little bit tricky. Shadow is trickier to blend out than a regular liquid liner would, but it's also easier to clean up and start over. So if you struggle with liquid liner, this might be a good technique to try to practice with. And this is just a clean brush. So I'm just going in and intensifying all the colors that are already there. This is a Tarte Black Eyeliner. And with those same two mattes, 11 and 12, I am just smoking out the lower lash line. A little bit of mascara. This is my L'Oreal Telescopic, my ride or die mascara for years now. And I'm gonna use for this look, the House of Lashes Iconic Light Lashes. I love these lashes. Um, and I am using the Duo Lash Adhesive in the green one, the one that has the aloe. Just sharpening up the eyebrows a little bit. I always like to go over my eyebrows one more time after my lashes are on and my eyeshadow is done because you really see where everything is gonna sit. I'm lining my lips with the KKW Beauty Lip Liner in the color Nude 2. I'm gonna fill in my lips with the Kylie Cosmetics 22 Liquid Lipstick. The color's name is 22. This is the perfect orangey burnt that she had in the look. Yes, perfect. All right, so now to the fun stuff. So we're gonna start with just the regular black eyeliner and you just wanna map out where you're gonna put your scars. That way you know where you're starting to work with. So next with some tweezers, you wanna puncture a little hole in the liquid latex so that you can get your scissors in there. It looks painful, but it's not. Um, these two were a little bit more difficult because I didn't unstick the liquid latex, but then I stuck my spatula in between my skin and the latex, and that made it a lot easier for the scissor to go in, literally, cut the work in half. It took me so long to, to do the first two scars and then with the front shoe, after I just separated my skin from the latex, it was so easy to get in there with the scissors. Um, and yeah, I know that it looks gross and it looks like it's like pulling and tugging your skin, which it is a little bit, but that's mainly just the liquid latex on top. So I like to just trim off a little bit of the extra quote unquote skin that's there and that'll open up the cut for you. 
and just give you a little bit more of an appearance of an open cut. Just make sure that you cut a little bit more in the middle and let it get thinner towards the end so that it looks like an actual scratch. Thinner at the top and thicker in the middle. Okay, with a black cream color, this is my 12 color. I almost used the wrong brush. Um, this is my 12 color flash palette. It is not the Makeup Forever one. I got this one on Amazon. Um, but yeah, so with the black cream color, you want to go in with a thin slanted brush, a eyebrow brush, and just get in that cut with all the black. That is just going to intensify the look, make it look more real, and it just makes the blood look darker overall, which makes it look more real. So once all of your cuts are filled in with black, you want to grab a dark red cream color. This color is from the Bet and I Bruise Stack. I didn't want to use the red color in the flash palette because that one's too red. I suggest using like a bloody type maroon red. This is my favorite blood to use of all time. This is the Quadrilated Blood from Maron. It's so good because it's so thick and creamy and the color is so perfect that it really does look like real blood. Uh, mixed in with the black in there. So I'm going to use that same eyebrow brush that I was using for the black and I'm just going to fill in all the little crevices of the wounds with that quadrilated blood. And yeah, I'm just going to get in there. Don't be scared to make a mess. Well, yeah, try not to make too much of a mess because you don't want it to look too crazy. But with the spatula, it's like a little mixing makeup spatula. You can use the back of a brush, just something a little bit thicker. And I am just pressing that blood in there, making it a little bit thicker. I'm just going over everything with a fluffy brush just to make it a little bit messier. Okay, so this step really brings the whole thing to life. This is one of those little textured stipple sponges. And with that, you want to dip it in the cream red color, well, the cream maroon color, and just stipple all over the place. This really gives you the look of being scraped or scratched. For this, I really do like to use the entire brew stack, the yellow, the red, the brown. I would avoid the black just to not make it too messy, but those colors mixed in together, stippled in, do really do look like bruises. And then with the blood, you just top it off wherever you think it'll look good. You see how it just looks like scratched and scraped? Okay, so you can totally just stop here. This is pretty similar to the Kylie look now, but I just kept going in. I just kept making it messier and messier, adding more blood. So this part is really up to your own creative freedom. Yeah, that's the, the first look right there, but now I'm going in. I went in with the brew stack. I just added a little bit more dimension, more texture. I added more blood. I made it a little bit darker and gorier. All right, guys, so this is it. This is the final look. I hope the tutorial was easy to follow and that you guys enjoyed watching it. If you guys did enjoy this video, oh, let me turn it this way. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and until next time. Bye.